it doesn't matter. You know, whatever this um, platform is for, sometimes you gotta, you know, wreck up and speak a little truth about your life. And by that I mean today is Wild Refugee Day and I'm gonna support my friend who has life. And you know, I resonate with a lot with refugees because I was once a refugee. But that's a story for another day. Yeah, I'm excited to go see what the, you know, America refugee kind of status is all about. Especially see my friend, you know, she's starting a business and uh, she's volunteering and she has this project about service to the community and just whenever you flee your country to go to another country to search for a better life not really a better life but it's always all about security it's just it's just overwhelming and nice if you find this community of people who support you and especially more so if you um find the society of people who probably have gone through experiences that you have and you just out of the blue you have a family and so it's cool so i'm excited to go see what she sells at the stalls and just what this program is all about and who knows you know maybe i might tell my story sometimes or i might be an inspiration to somebody and you know besides the all bumping down of youtube fibs you know sometimes we got some good in us and we do the good things. You know, you just pick and choose which story you want to tell. But this refugee thing, just James. So I want to say like for anybody who's ever gone through these experiences, you know, life is, life gets hurt and life is difficult. And I think it's just great and your resilience, you know, to keep doing what you're doing, no matter how heavy your hurt might be. But I promise you, if you stick to it and you're true to yourself and you know who you are, everything is always going to turn. I'm not, a, I'm not a public speaker, man. But uh, sometimes, you know, besides all the nits and gritty, like this is so dear to me when I'm, you know, going to maybe relate or associate with folks like this. And I just want to put it out there, you know, just James aside. Whenever life throws at you, whatever it throws at you, just take it with a grain of salt. And don't, I'm not saying you shut up. I'm saying you stand up, you show up and you do as you do. And if you're true and disciplined, man, nothing can stop you. So if any of you has been a refugee and you're watching this, whatever part of life you are, whatever you do, keep at it. So Finally, I'm here super windy but yep look at that yeah we got cops having fun it's about to start raining but then yeah we got a bunch of food trucks Ooh, i'm hungry now i want to eat let's go check out my buddy's store Zolari shop. Zolari. Hey. Look at all this beauty. came in pretty late but uh, they have some Swahili food that I gotta try
some sambusa. And place I miss this kind of food so that's a bit from also super good I got it from a Somali store and the chili and actually I have a lunch date with a buddy of mine in an hour so I might just watch it eat while I stand because you don't say no to some also and then I'm gonna try there's also veggies on the food. Mm. I got it. Pretty good. I'm gonna help him close up. I thought I was a lure, but getting this Mercedes, hey, this is scary. It's scary on my bank account and it's scary on my lifestyle. Hey. Hey. Hashtag. Hashtag Jalua is, uh, is Garama. Let me chewing you. Let me chewing you. Hey. Hey. Huh? Hey. Everyone. <laughs> so I went there, I was late at the party, but I did kind of interact with a lot of people off camera. And having a white interior in a car just makes a difference. I think it was really cool, you know, just to have some African food and, you know, know the organization that helps refugees. It has a lot of business opportunity to do service or just to help and that was kind of cool so I did enjoy that I did meet a couple new friends holy moly and I guess now I'm gonna be held in traffic for days yeah this is the traffic coming to a standstill like I see police lights going off but yeah, it is coming to a standstill. And there's something about American highways. Like, as soon as somebody gets pulled over, like, if there's a cop car just blinking with lights, then, yeah, but this is, this is going to, we, we, I'm going to be here for days. You know, that's why, you know, the engineers, we got to make those cars for the future. I've seen, I've seen the prototype, and I wonder if it's real. Like, you know, the car, you know, it has like wings you get to this kind of traffic and you just set your your propeller or your wings apart and you fly away i got an opportunity to you know do a volunteer work at a refugee place i'll see how that goes and thanks i world refugee day and for all you do to help the people get back to stable life i really appreciate that and i'll be attending more of those and i just gotta sit in traffic and enjoy the ambience of my ride i guess so yep adios a light is saying areas but i think there's an incident detection but this is a six lane road and whenever there's an incident when you see those lights then for some reason traffic just get backed up but yeah yeah this is not good so i guess that's what happened there's a trailer holy moly like yeah it's been some heavy winds later today and i guess yeah, that's what it is. Oh, so not days, 